Okay, you guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a point cloud uh, in Autodesk Recap and uh, later on show you how to take that point cloud and bring it into Civil 3D for a surface. So first uh, we're going to bring some data into, some LiDAR data into a new project. Uh, you'll have to have Autodesk Recap open. So in your All Programs button, go to the uh, A section under Recap. Make sure you click Autodesk Recap, not Recap Photo. That'll open up an interface like this. So here you can open up an existing project or in my case, create a new one and I'm going to import a point cloud I'm going to import some LiDAR data to create my point cloud so I'll go import and I'll specify a location so I will uh, store my data in a folder called test project and I'll give the point cloud a name uh, like test project one or you can call it whatever you want I don't really care okay that's your business and then I'm going to have to go select files to import. And here I'll browse out to my uh, data set that I have stored. I'm going to bring in uh, one or both of these. Uh, for time, I will bring in just one. And I will say open. And here will bring me into a wizard-like uh, thing where I'll go through a couple of different settings. First, I've got the filtering button. I can tell uh, using the slider how many points are going to get filtered out if the uh, point cloud is a, or the lighter data is a little too intense. You can filter some of those points out of there, and then go to the advanced tab. And here you can turn it off totally if you like, or you can again specify the uh, amount of points that will be uh, removed. And in the coordinate system section, this is really important, especially if you've got georeference data, go ahead and select the input uh, system of the uh, input coordinate data. In my case, that uh, LiDAR data is in a 3TM system, so I'll just type it in and I'll, it'll bring up a search uh, results and I'll specify my 3TM NAT83. That's a good one for this project. You can use whatever one you want. And the point cloud that's created in Recap, I will keep it to the same because that is a, a very worthy system. So I will say target system the same and then go ahead and say import files. That will run through a wizard and when it's finished we will index the scans. And when it's done, index those scans, you guys. And then go ahead and launch the project when it gets to 100%. And there you have it, everyone, your point cloud. So you can uh, use your mouse buttons to pan and zoom around. You guys can figure that out uh, on your own. So you can see that uh, this is a full earth scan. It's uh, got all the vegetation and built up structures it looks like. So that's your uh, import. And don't forget to save your project once you bring it in. Very important. Alright, thanks you guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this little segment. Also remember at the beginning of this clip uh, at the start screen you could bring in uh, point cloud data directly from a data collector like the BLK 360s or a uh, another device so um, have a great day bye everyone